When I got there, now this is the crazy part. During my personal development phase, I told myself, I'm not taking no factory job, right? Because I knew that was a setup for me. Not saying for everybody else, I got ADDHD. I can't sit in no factory like that all day. I'm going to quit. Once I quit, that's my excuse to get back into the game. I leverage it. I use that as an excuse. So I told myself I'm not working in no factory. But I had a list of jobs that fit around my skills and my interests. So when I got to the halfway house, they handed me this paper. Had all factory jobs on it. <laughs> but at the bottom of it, had the one job, the lowest paying job. All these other factory jobs, $17, $18 an hour. The job, the last job was $11 an hour. It was telemarketing. That's the only place I went. I went to the telemarketing place. It was a young guy. I went, he came running out there full of energy. He's like, man, you at the halfway house? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, my brother's out there, man. I can get you a job. You going to work? I said, yeah, I'm going to work. I'm going to show up. He's like, you know how to read a script? I'm like, yeah, I know how to read a script. So I read the script. He said, come back and you start the next day. The next day when I walked into the meeting, they started their meeting off with affirmations. <laughs> then each, every telemarketer started setting their goals for the day. I knew that's where I belonged. Because that was my regimen, affirmations and goals. I was in a halfway house for four months. This was my daily regimen. I woke up at five, rode the bus to work, got there at seven. Got off work at two, rode the bus back to the halfway house, got back at four. I ate my dinner. Then I went to the computer lab and I started typing up my books that I wrote while incarcerated. Because I knew the books was going to be my way of making extra money. But I have to go to the streets because a guy came and said, yeah, man, you can sell books on Amazon and stuff like that. I'm like, what? I can write my own book and sell it and, and make money. He was like, yeah. And so I wrote three books. I had the time. So I wrote three books, got out in the halfway house, typed them up. Once I typed them up for a couple hours, worked on them, I took my life coaching courses for two hours. I did that for four months straight in the halfway house. When I walked out, I had one life coaching diploma, three books typed up. I went and got a job, stocking the Dollar Tree, five in the morning, five to ten, listening to podcasts on growth from 